we got Sock D369 right here. Over here we got Latino guy 425. I'm trying to get him coming into the nest. We have this new message coming in here. Surely you see that this is not the same as knowing. For how could knowledge be unreasoning? And it's not ignorance either. For how could what hits truth be ignorance? Yes, he definitely, definitely looking to get some philosophizing. That's what I'm thinking. Yeah. Let's, let's invite him over and see if we can get him to bite. The man walking to our house on this chilly Athenian day is 65 year old Socrates. He is a philosopher and he goes by the screen name Socrates369. He has been chatting with a boy whom he believes is 15. The boy is really a decoy hired by us to catch predators corrupting the youth. At first, he seems to be interested in small talk. But later in the chat, he makes it clear that his intentions are to do some illegitimate philosophizing. Are we ready to philosophize? Hi there. I'm the leader, so stay and be seen. What are, you, what are you doing here tonight? I know nothing except the fact of my ignorance. Why don't you go ahead and have a seat? I'm going to be right there. Okay. I just have some uh, questions for you. I think you were talking to young and unexamined them. Is that even a real beard? Is the body not an obstacle when we associate with it in the search for knowledge? I mean, for example, do men find any truth in sight or hearing? But, but it's made of paper. I, I ah, see but it. It, is, it is real in that it participates in the form of the beard. Yes. According to chat logs between you and young and unexamined, you came here to reveal his young, ignorant mind. You also said that you'd like to take him out for pastries and prostitutes. Did, did you know how old he was, that he was only 15? You are justified in what you say, and I think you mean that I must make response against it, as if I were in court. Well, you certainly must. Uh, well, consider then, my good sir, whether you agree with my opinion, for this will aid us greatly in finding what we see. Do you think that it is the part of a philosopher to be concerned with the so-called pleasures, such as those of food and drink? By no means. What about the pleasures of sex? Not at all. Do you not think, then, that in general, such a man's concern will not be with the body, but that he will take his attentions as far from the body as possible and towards the soul? You may have made your defense on that point, but you still haven't met the charge of intent to philosophize with a minor. Uh, well, I do nothing more than go about persuading both young and old among you not to neglect your soul over your bodies or your wealth. Also, in the chat log you said, give me beauty in the inward soul, may the outward and inward man be one. That sounds a lot like philosophy. Did you come here with the intent to corrupt this boy to philosophy? Corrupting? Well, I must be doing this unwillingly. For why would I willingly make one of my associates wicked and thus risk that he harm me? You disgust me, Socrates. You completely disgust me. You're triggered to take hold of the argument, at which point you can do the most harm. Not at all! Well, where, 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 where do you think we're going? It is obvious that I am wiser than this man, for it is only too likely that neither of us has any knowledge of which to boast, and he thinks that he knows things which he does not, whereas I am quite conscious of my ignorance. Hey, get in your floor. You're under arrest for attempting to fall out of the minor. Hey, get in, you know. Get in. Get in. 